guys, Daniel here with Gunbag Warehouse. Last stoppage we're gonna talk about in this little stoppage series we got going on is your failure to eject, or often called a stovepipe. Uh, so right here we have kind of a semi-inline stovepipe. You'll see that spent casing where it didn't eject, sometimes caught like that, sometimes sitting right there pointing up, sometimes pointing out the side, sometimes straight on. Uh, they, they land in there some different ways, so it's not, not absolutely perfect. I dropped it in there this way. But what's important to realize right here is that round that's trying to go in the chamber is not engaged on the extractor. That mechanical device, that little ledge that's right there on the side, it is not on the rim of that cartridge. So if I go and rack this slide right now, what do you think is gonna happen? Well, I'll wait for your response. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna wait any longer for your response. Uh, if I rack here, boom, double feed kind of thing going on, still stuck in there, boom, and I've got something really funky happening. Right, if I really wanna solve this problem, it is not complicated. Uh, I can let gravity help me out. We'll make the other one. Still not engaged on it. Now it's trying to get engaged. We can't do that. So see how it's caught on the extractor now? When it's caught on the extractor, and no matter what's going on, if there's a stovepipe in there, basically all I got to do is rack. If that round is on the extractor and it's forward enough to get on the extractor and you rack that thing, that round that's on the extractor is gonna get ripped out, slapped against the ejector. The ejector is gonna send it out and clear that casing out at the same time. So clearing a stovepipe is not always just a rack is what I'm getting at. Uh, so what I like to do is an inverted rack. So if I've got a stovepipe, I can go inverted this way, I can go inverted that way. All I'm doing is letting gravity help clear that round that's not caught uh, off uh, and letting the, the, the brass fall out as well. Now, if, if you clear this thing and that doesn't work and it doesn't happen, it doesn't get cleared, it's, you already have a procedure. If you watch the other video on double feed clearance, if not, you should go watch it. Uh, all you need to do is conduct that double feed clearance. Press that magazine release, rip, rack, 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 or press and rack, whatever, reload the gun. Uh, in, in many cases, pressing the magazine release and racking for the stovepipe will clear it as well. So a lot of ways to skin this cat. At the end of the whole story, you need to know your gun. You need to go train with it because you can cut corners and ignore pretty much everything I've said in any of these videos if you know your gun and you know how to clear the stoppages in that gun and what the kind of stoppage that it has. Uh, so guys, go out there, train, practice, have fun, work on these. You shoot enough rounds, you're going to run into problems. I don't care what gun it is, it's going to have problems eventually if you shoot enough. Uh, and if you're one of those guys who's like, but my such and such gun has been great and I've got 200 whole rounds to it. Go out there, practice, go out there, train, have fun. And it, to make that, that range stuff more fun, do all your magazine filling at home and have a lot of magazines. So go buy those magazines at Gun Mag Warehouse right now and then go fill them up and then go out to the range and shoot more than 200 rounds and practice those stoppage clearance. Guys, I'm Daniel. If you watched this far and you haven't hit the subscribe, subscribe button, send me an email and uh, ask you for a sticker and I'm gonna ignore it. Guys, thanks for watching.